Okay, so I'm guys. I'm sorry, ne? Um, I'm so fucking dizzy. Get this guy to take right now, cause like, as like, let's get on, let's get, let's get on, go. Let's. As it is, much of my economy, which the economies of our poor countries, anyway. Yeah, so I was telling you, please go check out the previous part about how it is that when I was working at MTN, like a whole bunch of bandits always used to get caught, like in the call center, and they would go out like a trail of ants. I told you, my bonus, because they did something um shiga shiga using MTN's services. Anywho, anyhow, so this chick Stephanie P Smith, <laughs> like she prophesied one time that there is currently an affliction on many of God's children. Um, it is across the board with people even that are not saved, but because they affected this thing is also affecting God's kids for the sake of God's kids. God is going to rescue everyone that is a victim in this regard. Do you understand uh, that that should tell you about the common grace of God? If you think about Abraham and his petition for Lot to get taken out of Sodom, he was like, Lord, if there are 50 people there, will you still destroy the land? And God was like, no, I will rescue them for the sake of those 50. If there were 30, if there were 10, until ultimately it boiled down to just Lot and then God took out Lot out of Sodom. So the Lord, if at all there are like 50 saints struggling under a, a, a particular situation, a particular situation, he will rescue everybody for their sake. He will rescue an entire country for 100 Christians. Do you understand? He will rescue a sinking ship for just three Christians in there, even if it is the Titanic. It lets sink hundreds of people on board. So this chick was speaking about how it is that the Lord is going to rescue many people who have got beefing, jealous friends that resent their YouTube channel growth and this and that. Because they, what she said was that there were people that are actively unsubscribing. Uh, like you will get a new subscriber on some Zintle Shabalala has subscribed to you, and then next thing Zintle Shabalala has gone, has left. And this chick was like, she sometimes got some of her subscribers coming to her on some Stephanie. I subscribed to you, and whenever when I came back to your channel, I found that I'm not subscribed anymore. I don't understand what's going on. I think YouTube is deliberately like man sabotaging your channel, uh, type establishment thing, you know. Uh, and so Stephanie's like, I don't know, I don't know, you know, like I don't know what's going on and then ultimately god gave her like a dream or a vision or something to show her that these unsubscriptions are literally manual unsubscriptions of people who upon subscribing to your video then somebody in the back end at youtube will go and unsubscribe for this particular person remove them as a subscriber remove them because the, you know when you gain subscribers that's when you can monetize and once you've monetized that's you know it increases your earning potential so sometimes you get these like random flat fluffy randos that are so incredibly jealous that rock up and they want to prevent a growth on youtube when i and you're slowly growing steadily and you start to realize that oh my goodness I can actually do this like permanently and leave that silly job and that silly boss behind and then uh, because wabu or you know my loquacious like a rabo some colleagues or colleagues on I've decided that whole part of the summer I'm going to go somewhere, something, something, or see what's on YouTube. And next thing you find yourself saying thanks to George and I, one thousand like stupid little amounts of money like this. I guess it adds up. If it's like if it's like thirty people asking this favor of you, then you get thirty grand and you're chilling in your account every month to just sabotage YouTube channels. And you go and you like no pinky, you mind no seven zero eight admin office here, so YouTube who can go as an admin in the back end, administrator in the back end, and actively affect some kind of like nefarious strategy strategy on your account um, on YouTube and so it caused you to lose subscribers even though subscribers didn't actually walk away or worse once your, pub your content publishes instead of it being put on the recommended feed um, landing page or even in the keyword search your stuff is just chilling like I said in some ominous like dark environment like it's a canyonic room there is nothing going on it looks like the outer darkness like after dying and your body's disembodied and before you get collected by angels of God you're just like in outer space and you every so often hear like drops of water goop 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 and you don't know where the sound is coming from and next thing you hear footsteps like you're the only person on youtube that is in that like ominous dark nefarious like canyonic out of space place and you're just like waiting for nothing your content just sits in this like zombified lom like zombie place marooned on an island some kind of far away place so people don't see it so people don't uh, gaze upon it and peruse your content and so therefore likely click or whatever yeah 
yeah, uh, like they put you, they maroon you on an island, maroon you on an island, proverbial island inside YouTube, so nobody can come. Marawitsi King, smoke signals are Christian, it rises up into the cosmos, interdimensional prayer, connecting to heaven. So uh, there is nothing that separates us from the love of God, hallelujah, who is in Christ Jesus, amen. How about we give a shout of praise for that? Um, okay, yeah, we just praise the Lord because it's what we do up in this business. Yeah, mm hmm. So, uh, that's what it is that was shown to this young lady, uh, or the Beyonce. Yeah, that's what was what was shown her by God that there are people actively marooning channels on YouTube on an island, and it is ubiquitously, um, just Earth's citizens worth of people that have got some silly person on the outside with a bone to pick with them or the strange agenda with the jealous issue that then goes and pay someone working at YouTube that is irresponsible or emitting or the hawks whatever might be the new version of it because they've been busted in the back end first it's an investigation to figure out no there are so many complaints coming in of this nature so many people are coming in asking, asking why is my channel shadow banned why is my channel shadow banned there is nothing political or strange or weird that I am saying no amount of informa misinformation that I'm bringing forward I am not um messing up with copyright issues I am not messing up with um community guidelines basically cannot understand like all I do are mukbangs like who in the world is offended by a mukbang all I do is 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 you know come here and review clothing all I do is do face beats who is offended at like you know the like regular good old fashioned like makeup tutorial and yet here is this makeup tat chick who started out growing 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 next thing gee what's the up and fell all of a sudden very very anomalously so without there being any active force that could explain why I stop and I have a political now maybe I can get a look at why I'm stopping because I'm religious and I don't know but so, but some people are just like there's literally no explanation you're doing hair content who in the world is offended by your brand spanking new yucky bulk like you know hair extension thing yeah well stephanie was basically talking about how it is that like a whole bunch of people are finding themselves shadow banned because of the jealousy that is increasing on the earth against other people and there are individuals who work for these organizations these social media companies who are irresponsible like i said with their jobs actively unsubscribing if they are youtube and following if it's instagram if it's um tiktok if it is facebook Facebook, like removing your likes even all the way down to the likes so the so the algorithm won't pontificate you um and so therefore you just kind of sit stranded like i said marooned on an island in this one particular um channel just your channel alone and the stoppage is usually very abrupt overnight and just like bankless, frankly. Haina, any kind of deposit that makes sense at all in the mind of a man. And so it's bankless. And, and they are doing this at the peril of their career, anticipating nobody's going to notice. It's anomalous activity. It has got no trajectory or trend that can be explainable by common sense. And so it is the reason why uh, um, uh, an investigation becomes embarked on. And it's one of the right investigation of something Mara, you don't quite know for a fact that this person is involved in something strange you don't just go and tell them hey so are you into stealing the company stationery hey uh, so are you into stealing laptop charges hey so are you into stealing like carry bags hey is it you that stole all the wad of paper by the copy printer machine is it you is it you no 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 you are gonna have all of a sudden like some boss or somebody's gonna rise up and be like I think this person is stealing stationery and then you don't have proof so what you need to do is just stake them out like hawk watch literally put uh, set them up to fall in this capacity watch them watch them just watch what they, what they do for a season of time and lo and behold because they are active bandits in the organization making like a, a spoof a version of oceans 11 by a john jabazin's a gris man except like i said the spoof a version that doesn't quite um do a good job and then they get caught and then the next thing can you please come to a meeting next thing they give you an immediate suspension with um intent to terminate following a, a uh, some kind of a disciplinary hearing. You like nyunze 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 ni mina nyunze ni eh unzo li busy o shadow banner the content the the channel it's abana babang. Basa it's ang nextimo YouTubeu and you are disreputing our organization and this is not what we're about. So uh, go home and we will call you for your disciplinary hearing and uh, you can get a lawyer if you want, but it it's not looking good for you. Bye, Jabu. So bonus second half twice, boy. Next part.